Hi guys, Robbie 46 here. Welcome back to MotoGP 14. And the last race was at a very wet Silverstone, as it usually is. Um, managed to get another win. And this is Mazzane, and it's the first race. I'm on a Ducati. And I'll be honest with you guys, during the warm up session, uh, which was the first time I actually used the Ducati, I actually really liked it as we uh, play a bit of Buckaroo there. Um, seems to handle pretty well and it's got really good rear grip um, it does wheelie quite a bit but it it's nowhere near as bad as what I thought it was gonna be in fact I I hate to say this but I think I prefer it to the Tech 3 Yamaha at least um, I don't know what the factory ones or the reps are Honda alike, but try them out eventually. But in the meantime, we're on the Ducati. It does sound a bit funny though. Um, it does sound very digital, if that makes sense. But we're up to sixth now. It's only the first lap. Yeah, like I said, it, does, it, it handles really nicely. I was, I was expecting it to understeer like it did in uh, MotoGP 13, but it didn't seem to really do that. It just, oh, crutch loads crashed. It just seems like a really nice bike to ride. Come a bit wide there. So we're up to fifth got two more laps to go. Getting into the first chicane out, Bright Brado, yes. We've got the three factory bikes ahead. Oh, don't know what Pedros was doing then. And we've gone into the lead, we've gone wide day. And back to fourth. See if we can get better driving them out of here. Not really, but we can get in their slipstream. Gaining slightly. Get them on the brakes. Oh, wasn't expecting them to do that. Up second now. We're on the wrong side of Pedroza, but can we go around the outside? Yes. Yes, we can. So we're in the lead now. Coming up to the two quick right-handers. To get off the throttle a little bit. Oh, couple of corrections there going to that corner. Yeah, I'm liking the Ducati. Um, it probably doesn't feel anything like this in real life. But it feels really nice in the game. Okay, so we're on the final lap now. Got 1.2 second lead. Like I said, it does wheelie a bit when you uh, slam the power on. But when you get that under control, it's uh, it's pretty good. Tire wise, isn't. It doesn't eat the tyres up as much as I thought it would. Um, so I was expecting the rear to be spinning up all the time. Um, but no, the tyres, by the looks of it, are still in pretty good condition. Yeah, let's just carry on pulling away. With the split time come out? Yep, yeah, 2.9 seconds. So the next bike which I'll try out, um, I probably won't do it until the end of the season, um, I'll probably try the Repsol Honda out and then keep uh, my favourite one to last and then go on the uh, Repsol, uh, not Repsol, the Movestar Yamaha. So we go guys. 
Cross the line. Done it. We've won a race on the Ducati. There we go. Achievement unlocked. Ducati love. And that was nowhere near as hard as I thought it would be. Five and a half second lead over Danny Pedroza. Let's have a look at the final standings. So good now. I don't think we can catch Honda. Um, let's see what we can get the points gap down to. Not to park firm, eh? So the Ducati's been a, a nice surprise for me. Um, Like I said in, in 13, it was a bit bit of a handful, but they seem to have smoothed it out for this game. But like I said, I don't know what it handles like in real life, but it looks a bit not that great, um, as they still got front-end problems. But they're slowly getting there, Ducati, and I know that hopefully their new bike uh, next season, because it's going to be a brand new bike, hopefully that's a big step in the right direction. And then we can see them being competitive yet again. I know Dovi's had, had a second this season. Um, I think he's had a third as well. But hopefully next season we can see him near the front more regularly. And there we are guys. Next race is at Aragon. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I shall see you guys in the next race. See you.